Gen X, Y, and Z colorectal cancer ERISA disability claims. Did you know, unfortunately, since the mid-90s, cases of colorectal cancer under the age of 50 have increased by over 50%. I find that number to be out, just mind-boggling. Unfortunately, cases among those who are in their 20s and their 30s are expected to rise by 90% by 2030. These numbers, as I said, are just amazing, and I'm seeing these cases in my office. Now, it's thought that there are a range of factors are, are the reason for this increase. Let's talk about those factors. It's the lack of vitamin D in a person's diet. It's the role of a microbiome. It's red meat consumption. It's the diet, including processed foods and sugary drinks. But regardless of the cause, the diagnosis of colorectal cancer can be devastating physically, emotionally, and financially. Now, you may have purchased a disability insurance policy or covered under a plan through your employer, never thinking that at age 20 or 30 or even 40, you would be diagnosed with colorectal cancer. Let's talk about that kind of a disability claim. Disability carriers are going to be looking at your medical records to determine if uh, the basis of the diagnosis. They're going to be wanting to see an objective basis of that diagnosis, including staging reports. They're going to want to understand what your symptoms are and how those symptoms have progressed. And more importantly, they want to understand how those symptoms impact your ability to function, how it impacts your ability to perform your own occupation. Now that sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? But each policy or plan is different, and they each have different definitions of disability and occupation. So we've got to fit our medical proof and our vocational proof into these applicable definitions. If you don't, your claim can be denied, and you don't need to deal with the financial consequences of a claim denial, do you? No, you don't. So it's really important that once you receive this diagnosis, that you consult with an experienced ERISA disability attorney such as myself. I can review the policy and plan, I can review the medical records, and I can give you some guidance on how to apply for your disability benefits and to submit a winning application. Now, if your claim has been denied or terminated, I'm there to help you with that appeal. My dad became disabled as a result of leukemia while I was growing up. I watched him make that difficult decision to stop work and apply for benefits. I watched him go through the claims process, and there was no assistance back in those days. He did it himself, but he was an insurance broker and he knew what he was doing. I seriously doubt that you understand uh, a disability insurance policy and quite frankly are emotionally, physically ready to deal with all of that anxiety. So give me a call at 727-894-3188 so I can help you get the disability benefits you deserve.